Hey guys, so I just wanted to say happy holidays to everybody. I hope everybody's having an awesome month. You know, eating some good food, spending time with family if you've got it, and all that good shit. Uh, sorry about the mess in the background. I'm moving around some shit right now, but I figured that it's time that we do another top five. So this is going to be top five games that need a remake, remaster, or a sequel. Doesn't really matter which. This is all just an excuse to walk down memory lane and nerd the fuck out. So thanks for joining me. Uh, this one's going to be action adventure games. So let's get to this week's top five. Number five. Last of Us Part One. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's start over. Number five. Viking Battle for Asgard. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this game was some type of masterpiece. Even when Viking came out in 2008, it was a flawed game. But flaws or not, anyone who played the game will tell you that the game was a blast. It's hack and slash action adventure with brutal dismemberments and addicting open world goodness. And if you played this on your PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360, you know you've got some nostalgia built up for this game. So Viking Battle for Asgard was created by Creative Assembly. You might know them from Total War Warhammer, their work on Halo Wars 2, or even Alien Isolation. Basically, these guys are the kings of getting disrespected and then appreciated years later after release. You can tell by their works that these guys are true gamers, or girls, sorry. And this doesn't ring truer than with Viking. I'm not going to do a recap of the story because honestly, it's absolute dog shit. But if they remastered or rebooted this series, I am telling you right now, I would be first in line and you should too. Number four, L.A. Noir. LAPD, we'd like to take a look around. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. Female dumped the end of Hill Street. Hard evidence. Now, is L.A. Noir a action-adventure game, you might be asking yourself? Well, I don't fucking know, but <laughs> according to Google, it is, so that's what we're sticking with. Now, out of all the games on this list, this one is probably the least in need of a remaster, because this masterpiece, while I'm sure would benefit heavily from a facelift, is still not only playable, but it's still fucking beautiful. What I'm asking for and what all fans of L.A. Noir want is a sequel. If you don't know, L.A. Noir is another of Rockstar's IPs that got left in the dust by their juggernaut cousins GTA and Red Dead. It's another game in the same vein being as it's a third person and open world of course, but this time you're a homicide detective with the LAPD in 1947 tasked with investigating various cases with similarities to the Black Dahlia murders. The game used some of the best motion capture of the time, had phenomenal acting, it was engaging all the way through, and you got to live out the fantasy of being a human lie detector, monitoring every eye twitch, head shake, and nervous lip quiver as you accused various citizens on your way to the truth. And the world absolutely deserves a sequel. Number three, Enslaved Odyssey to the West. The slavers come from the West. So that's where we're going. I want to find 
So Enslaved is another actual masterpiece, but you might just have let this game slip by your radar when it released in 2010, because as far as commercial success, the game unfortunately did not do that great. So Enslaved was developed by Ninja Theory. Yes, the very same Ninja Theory. You play as a character named Monkey, 150 years in the future after a global collapse and the world is ran by mechs. The twist here is that you're a slave to a girl named Trip after she puts a headband with a termination trigger on it. The game had awesome platforming, fun combat, and beautiful facial animations that they had been developing since Kung Fu Chaos and Heavenly Sword. This game felt like the best possible natural progression for Ninja Theory, and it's a shame that we never got anything else in this series, and I would play the fuck out of a reboot for this game. Number 2. Sly Cooper Once Operation Overlord is complete, I will be unstoppable! Sly, all of our futures are in peril! Good evening, this is Sly Cooper. I'd like to request a ride. Quit messing around and get down here! Sly Cooper is a series of stealth-based action-adventure games made by Sucker Punch. The first game was released in 2002, and all of them were PlayStation exclusives. You play a Sly of the legendary namesake, the Coopers, obviously. Famed for their thievery, and after watching helplessly the death of both of your parents, you become an orphan. This is a tale of revenge and badassery, all with an awesome aesthetic, perfect gameplay loops, and a band of characters that were all so likable and funny, it's truly a shame and wonder that this series has died. This is the type of game that should have had its own movies, TV shows, you name it. In fact, they almost made a movie before they ditched it for some reason. Instead, this beloved franchise is just collecting dust, and I don't get it, so please, Sucker Punch, for the love of God, give us another game in the Sly Cooper series, please. Number 1. Prince of Persia A king and his son have defeated a mighty empire, inheriting an extravagant hourglass and a mysterious dagger that contained the mystical powers of the sands of time. Prince of Persia was one of those games that I think we can all agree we never thought they'd stop making games for the series. In its heyday, Prince of Persia seemed unstoppable. You had game after game, merch, a movie with Jake Gyllenhaal. I mean, this was a household name. And every iteration of the game, in my opinion, was worth playing. Even the fucking movie licensed one was awesome. There was a cell shaded iteration made by Ubisoft that was incredible. This game just could not lose in my eyes. Its story, especially in the original, was gritty. The platforming was awesome. The music was great. And every fucking time I go into a desert in a video games to this day, Prince of Persia is the first thing that comes to my mind immediately without fail. It's crazy. While I personally would love to see the trilogy remade, I think this series would benefit so heavily from a full-on reboot. And we deserve it, fans and newcomers alike. I mean, this is a game worth playing. And that's why it's number one. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of the list. Uh, as always in the comments, leave some, com or some suggestions. Sorry, my uh, mouth is dry. I got cotton mouth. Anyways, tell me what you think should have been in the top five. Also, uh, give me some advice on what the next top five should be. Uh, anyways, you guys take it easy. Thanks for watching. As always, like and subscribe, all that good shit. I'm out.